0242-552-956. And Charlotte, if we can, anybody got any questions? We'll put them aside and ask them after half past one when uh, Ben gets in. There are fears that racial tensions are on the rise in Birmingham following the acquittal of three Asian men accused of murdering a black man during the Lazelles riots. 23-year-old Isaiah Young Sam died back in 2005, and yesterday's not guilty verdict followed two previous trials, which ended with convictions and then a hung jury. This morning, Derek Campbell, Chief Executive of Racing Policy Sandwell, told Phil Upton at breakfast um, the local people wanted to see justice. We as a community need to stand firm and stand together to ensure that crimes of this nature are not carried out. And where we have verdicts like this, it sends out a, quite a, a, a harmful signal that all the effort that's been put in to bring these individuals before the court has ended um, with a verdict that has not been satisfactory. Derek Campbell, Chief Executive of Race Equality Sandwell. Uh, we spent the morning in the Zells to find out how people are feeling following the acquittal. Right, there's a lot of tension. But when there's trouble, the police tend to like start off like with aggression. So like they don't take any chances with people basically. But this is a dangerous place. I don't think there's tensions. We all get on good, it's community, isn't it? Most of the people which are saying things like that are people from like as the area. They want to come into the area and do a lot of bad things. Uh, Alice Elsie's all right, it's just like any other area. I just think basically the police don't understand black people around here and they're all for themselves. And it's just like, they don't help. Like, if you know what I mean, everything's just about them and they're always just judging people and never got time to talk or understand what's really going on. Well, I live in Los Angeles. Um For what's going on in, in this area now, it's a bit quiet. You know I mean? From a couple of years ago when you know, we had the riots or whatever. Apart from that, it's coming out all right. Joining me on the show now is Wasim Zafar, who's a community leader in Lavelle. What are tensions currently like between the Lavelle community and the police? Could you help me with that one? Uh, afternoon, Ed. Um, right. the, the tension, um, the, well, there's no tension. The relationship between the police and the community is at an all-time high in Lavelle. I've just spent uh, the morning with uh, people such as Khalid Mahmood and the local councillors uh, speaking to the Birmingham Mail. We're doing a two-page spread on the positive work of the police with the community uh, and the fact that crime is at an all-time low in Lozelle uh, for the last couple of decades just, just conveys that. Um, I'm, I'm personally astonished that somebody um, as responsible as Jerry Campbell has made the statement that he has um, and as one of the, 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 the gentlemen uh, in the community was saying, uh, we in Lozelle would not make the same mistake in 2005 where we allowed people from outside the area come in and do what they did. 2005, the Lozelle's riots were the biggest regret in Lozelle. Um, you know, our thoughts are with us, our young Sam's family. They've just uh, had another tragedy in the last week. Um, and obviously, uh, as a community, uh, our thoughts are with them. Uh, but the fact of the matter is uh, that the, th the three gentlemen have been found not guilty. We've got absolute trust in the judicial system in this country, and we as a community won't allow people uh, to come in and break, break, break down um, our socially cohesive community that we have. Well, Stephen, why are some people, as you heard on the tape there, why are some people so mistrustful of the police? Um, I, I think historically there have been issues with the police uh, um, um, and the community. Uh, um, we know of the riots in uh, 1985. Um, um, we, we know that there was a murder, uh, well, there was a death in police custody, rather, um, 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 you know, not so long ago. But today, the relationship between the police, and especially, especially since neighbourhood policing has, uh, has been implemented, is, is far better than it was historically. The police have bigger turnouts at their community meetings than the Birmingham City Council Constituency Committee has. Um, that clearly conveys to me that people have more trust in the police than they do uh, it, with, it, with Birmingham City Council. Um, I'm not saying that the relationship is absolutely perfect. There's still a long way to go, but we are at a, you know, the, the trust and confidence between the community and the police is far greater today than it was a few years ago. Do you worry that um, racial tension or race riots can resurface following yesterday's decision in court? I think we as a community can't be complacent, especially because of, of the history in Lazales, but uh, I think there's, there's, there's people in Lazales who are far stronger, who understand the issues far greater than they did back then, um, and we will stand up and ensure that those sort of uh, uh, criminal activities that happened in 2005 don't come again to Lazales. 
Um, so generally, the community is far stronger. We'll stand up. We'll st stand shoulder to shoulder. It's not just about one particular ethnic group. It's all the ethnic groups working together to make Lazar that special place that he is today. What work is being done to prevent these kind of riots happening again? I think there's, there's immense investment going into to buildings, but the other thing that, that, that that's about to get off the ground is a leadership program that we and, and people like Khalid Mahmood, the MP, has been lobbying for to invest into people and invest into the leaders, young people who show potential that they can represent their their, their communities, whether they go on to represent uh, the community politically or in the social arena. Um, so it's important that we have and we, we empower leaders the leaders of tomorrow to come and take uh, take a step forward and and and, be, uh, and reflect the wider community rather than small factions. Can I thank you very much, Wasim? Much appreciated, Wasim Safar, the community leader in Lazelle. Call BBC WM on 08453 009956.